Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to take a look at regular and irregular past verbs. So let's get started. Past verbs are used when using the past simple tense in the affirmative. Past participle verbs are used when using the present and past perfect tenses. Regular verbs The majority of English verbs are regular. We add ed when they are made into past and past participles. Sometimes, though, we need to modify some parts of them when adding ed. The first group is one-syllable verbs, and these ones, they don't change. For example, jump, jumped, jumped, laugh, laughed, laughed, look, looked, looked. In the second group, add only D to those regular verbs ending with an E. For example, agree, agreed, agreed, survive, survived, survived, die, died, died. The third group, you need to double the last consonant to those verbs ending with a consonant, vowel, consonant. So, C, V, C. Just like these examples. Fan, fanned, fanned. Grab, grabbed, grabbed. Rip, ripped, ripped. So, we double the last consonant. N, B, and P. The last group is the fourth group. Take out the Y and add IED to those verbs ending with a Y. Just like these examples. Carry, carried, carried. Try, tried, tried. Cry, cried. Cried. Notice the Y changes to I. Now let's take a look at those irregular verbs. The first group, some verbs do not change. Just like put, put, put. Cost, cost, cost. Hit, hit, hit. Hurt, hurt, hurt. In the second group, we have similar endings. They replace the D with a T. For example, send, sent, sent. Spend, spent, spent. Build, built, built. The third group, irregular verbs have the same O-U-G-H-T endings, like this ones, bring, brought, brought, buy, bought, bought, fight, fought, fought. The fourth group, irregular verbs have the same E-N ending in the past participle. Beat, beat, beaten. Eat, ate, eaten. Forget, forgot, forgotten. So E-N at the end of the past participle. The fifth group change a vowel consistently. A for the past and U for the past participle, just like these ones, swim, swam, swum, begin, began, begun, ring, rang, rung. And finally, the sixth group, 
change consistently in the past with the E, W and O, W, N for the past participle. Just like blow, blue, blown, grow, grew, grown, fly, flew, flown. So now let's practice. Change the verbs into past and past participle. Grow, leave, make, sing. Type, hunt, play, see. Swim, dream, visit, go. Pause the video for five minutes and then we'll check your answers. So this will be your key. Grow, grew, grown. Leave, left, left. Make, made, made. Sing, sang, sung. Type, typed, typed. Regular. Hunt, hunted, hunted. Regular. Play, played, played. Visit, visited, visited. Those are regular. Swim, swam, swum, irregular. Dream can be both irregular and regular. Irregular ends with a T, so dreamt. And regular, obviously, ends with an ED, dreamed. So then we have C, saw, seen. Go, went, gone. By the way, did you know? The past of the verb go comes from the past of another verb, went, which means to go in a specific direction. Originally, went was the past of the verb went. Now it is wended. Instead, the past of the verb go was yod. People started to use the verbs go and went interchangeably. So after many years, the verb go adopted went as its past form. Well, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any questions about regular and irregular past verbs, type them under this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I suggest you do. If you liked the lesson, hit on the like button. And you may share the lesson if you liked it. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.